Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are here to talk about 2021's West Side Story. Of course, you already know my sisters. And Desiree and myself did see the original version about a year or two ago. Honestly, I don't recall it too, too well. I mean, there are some songs that I did remember that I was there like singing along. Did you recall any of it? Yeah. Or, yeah. And then she's never seen it now this time around it is directed by steven spielberg this is actually steven spielberg's very first musical that he has directed well before we get into their thoughts of course you know i was gonna give you a, a few little things this is basically like a remake of the original one that came out in like the 60s but it's actually based off of a play so not technically i guess I don't know it's not really based off of that it's based <laughs> off of a it's based off of a play but i guess like a remake or a reboot of the 60s version. I believe that's when it came out. But Spielberg actually said that it's not really a remake. This is his own interpretation, his own adaptation upon uh, the movie. Of course, we are following the Jets and the Sharks and they are rival games. We're in New York. We're in like the late 50s, was it, right? Yeah. And, you know, they're like they're rivals they they don't like each other you know of course a race thing then we have these two little little lovebirds uh forbidden love forbidden love a little romeo and juliet moment uh tony and maria who are played by ansel edgott Scott. shit how you pronounce his name i don't even know you we know, know, we, we know you don't pronounce names elgort Elgort. You guys, I fell in love with him with a fought in our stars. He has these really juicy kissable lips too. And then um, Maria is played by Rachel Zelger. And this is actually like her first like big movie. She's actually a YouTuber. So unlike that other girl from that other movie that's terrible. No, she was a TikToker. Lord, no. Ma Maria, no. I mean, Rachel, she knows what the hell she's doing. I love her portrayal. I love like how oh, you guys like she has this look in her eyes like she could just like starry eye look right like starry eye starry, yeah. starry eye she has a really nice singing voice um on song i don't really know how i feel about him as tony to be honest with you i mean he did a good job but i feel like he may have been a tad bit miscast i don't know so we have that typical kind of old school romance it's love at first sight to our first dance party and they love each other one night right and they're like they get up and i love you and we're gonna run away together oh my god those. yeah they're just very young love but they're not even like teenagers well i guess they're still technically teenagers she was 18 yeah. and i don't know how old he was Maybe he was a little bit older. I'm guessing. Yeah, I think he might have been just a tad bit little, little older than that. All happens within like a two, two night period, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like yeah, two days. It was like two days, you guys. Very, very quick. Um, I said it was based off a musical, right? Well, I said a play. Yeah. Well, it's a musical, you guys. So, mm -hmm. straight off the bat, if you are not into musicals, you're not going to like this. So, they do a lot of singing and dancing. Like, they start off with a really, really nice um, dance number. And I love the sound. I like. Well, hold on, you guys. Snaps. The snaps. Hold on. Well, hold on. Before I go into master, because y'all know I always go last. But I think I pretty much gave y'all the little sense of what the movie is. And then we're going like, to go into their stuff. And then I'll go into my stuff again. Okay. I'll go first. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I, I I did see when you said um, of him being miscast a little bit on Tony because he, even though he's a great actor and I love him, but it's like seeing him doesn't look like a b bad boy. Mm -hmm. So, but he did really well though. Mm -hmm. I, I I really enjoyed it. The songs are awesome. I love them. How Maria, she was great. Like how in the other the plays her voice is more of like an opera singing uh which is cool how they still kept that i was so confused of actually what happens because i forgot a lot of stuff it's a nice little representation mm -hmm. difference different adaptation yeah. i also enjoyed it <laughs> i'm kind of interested in seeing it in the play version too mm -hmm, though mm -hmm. i like a of course, it's going to be completely different, but not different. Yeah. <laughs> Just to get a better feel for it. Yeah, I love the music. I, yeah, a lot of the songs I've heard before, and I'm like, oh, this is where it's from. <laughs> I was singing along, too. Yeah. <laughs> also agree, uh, Tony didn't have that edgy, rugged, bad boy look to him. Mm -hmm. But he did really good. Mm -hmm. it's, he, he seemed like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Does um, <clears> it <throat> like we, we had, uh, we, we habitated? Oh, he, re yeah. 
Yeah, no, yeah, rehabilitation. Yeah, that one. Yeah, rehabilitation. <laughs> I had to do it slow. He did seem a little weak. Yeah, that one. Yeah, <laughs> rehabilitated. Yeah. Oh! The the look in the eyes keeps him away from the edgy part. Yeah, mm -hmm. he looks too much like a good good yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> like the boy next door yeah. kind of deal. I liked Maria. I would have never guessed that she was a, a TikToker. I would have. No, YouTuber. she's a YouTuber. YouTuber. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to open a lot of doors for her. Hopefully, she just he take, takes the right advantage of it and doesn't screw up her. Mm -hmm. I think her. It seemed kind of long, but I didn't realize it. Is. It is. It's like two and a half hours. This is my favorite musical of the year. I loved the direction that Steven went with this particular movie. This is gonna get, I'm sure, a bunch of Oscars. This is definitely an Oscar contender, you guys, from directing to the uh, the picture. I think supporting actress Anita did absolutely amazing. So maybe the same thing like uh, Rita Moreno, because she was the one that got nominated and won uh, back for West Side Story, the original one. So I think there could be another nomination for Anita here. Also, Rita Moreno um, has a small little row here, which is like, Oh, so good. The songs, like they said, are amazing. They're the same songs from the play, from the original movie. They're just um, in different orders. And I just caught myself, like, having this big old grin behind my mask. I'm like, oh, pendeja, like. <laughs> I loved it. I had so much fun with it. Coming to America. Oh, so pretty. Da -da -da -da. You guys, there is no chance of us getting copyrighted because if like YouTube catches that, performances were just amazing. Um, of course, like the overall story, the cheesiness to it, the tone is still there. Again, it's his own adaptation, so there are different things uh, with it. Um, I think my favorite musical number was when they were in the precinct, precinct in the jail, precinct, yeah. precinct, yeah, and they were there and. Uh, I'm no good or something like that with the guys yeah. the jets. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one was so much fun and oh, that one right there really had me smiling from like ear like to ear. Part. The deaths that happened. That's not, um I'm not gonna put it as a spoiler because again that's part of the original, the original stuff. So I'm gonna treat it as people know. Again, I know that you hadn't seen it, so you didn't see that coming. I kind of forgot who died, and then I'm just like, did that many people die? <laughs> Cause I, I couldn't actually, remember. I actually cheered up because I didn't know that. I go over and I'm like, Desiree, who died? Like, I, I don't remember. I didn't who remember died, who died. I'm yeah. like, it was a knife. Yeah, I did remember it was a knife part because like there was like a gun and I go, didn't they get stabbed? No, it I wasn't. think it was still two, but that third death, I don't remember that third one. No. Right? But it's not going to spoiler territory, like full. I mean, I know that's like spoiler, but I get not, I'm not treating it as a spoiler since it is part of the original stuff. I get a whole bunch of like technical Oscar awards, you guys. It did also give me like those theatrical vibes to it. Like, uh, not theatrical. Well, yeah, like theater, theater vibes, like the set design yeah. Yeah. with it. I guess I should be like better with my wording. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I ain't with that. But um, some of the, the stuff does give you like, you know, stage play in a way, but obviously like bigger, higher production. The lighting here also was, ooh, it was really good lighting. Um, I love the shots when we were like having those close-ups and then we had like those wider, like zoom out shots. <gasps> I really found myself like immersed in the story like I really saw myself like there with them It was it was great you guys. It's a great great musical. I don't think this is gonna make it like All my favorite of the year, but it is favorite musical of the year But I think it's probably like top maybe 20 30 30 top 30. I don't know top 20 Oh, I don't know you guys. <laughs> I gotta see where my stuff is. Of course, you guys can always follow me on Leather Letterbox. Sorry. She's over here on Instagram, you guys, as I'm saying this. Before we do give you our um, scores, uh, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Let me know down below what did you think about West Side Story. Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Which is just not for you? What did you think of the, these particular portrayals? Okay, what did you rank it? Arch. Arch. Arch as well. All right, those are our thoughts, our very quick after the theater thoughts on West Side Story 2021's West Side Story directed by Steven Spielberg. Till next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.